This is News Always On. U.S. President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump welcomed Spain's King Felipe VI and Queen Letizia to the White House. King Felipe said he appreciates the shared history and heritage of the United States and Spain. Trade was expected to figure prominently in the talks. The king was expected to discuss concerns in Europe about the Trump administration's decision to impose tariffs on steel and aluminium imports and U.S. tariffs on Spanish black olives. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Well, if you wonder who are they and why are they visiting, they last visited the U.S. in year 2014 and struck up a friendship with former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama. 50 this year, King Felipe ascended to the throne four years ago, succeeding his father, King Juan Carlos I. In accordance with his country's constitution, King Felipe is head of the state and commander-in-chief of the Spanish Armed Forces and plays a role in promoting positive relations with Hispanic America and Spain's former colonies, regarded collectively as nation of its historical community. Queen Letizia is a former TV news journalist with CNN who married the monarch in 2004. Together, the pair have two daughters. The king was born in Madrid to King Juan Carlos and Princess Sofia of Greece and Denmark. His studies were completed when he obtained a Master of Science in Foreign Service degree from Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. King Felipe speaks five languages and spent much of his career prior to taking the throne building diplomatic ties with Latin America and beyond. King Felipe and Queen Letizia have made history in being the first ringing Spanish monarchs to host LGBT plus organizations at the royal palace. Also in 2015, he announced he would be cutting his salary by 20% as part of an ongoing modernizing agenda, which also saw him remove his elder sisters, Princesses Elena and Christina, from royal duties. And uh, there's so many issues of common interest, of, uh, of uh, sharing the, the efforts in many areas, but as well, uh, I think, is uh, one basic common issue, which is our value for democracy. Uh, and I'll work together to in many different areas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. For more news updates, subscribe to our channel.